She insisted on going out with the Prophet ﷺ on Hajjat al-Wada, on the farewell Hajj, and she was nine months pregnant, and she gave birth at the Miqat uh, in Medina, at Dhul Hulayfa, where you go into Ihram. She gave birth to Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr, literally on the Hajj with the Prophet ﷺ. So she was not going to miss out the reward of the Hajj with the Prophet ﷺ. And that's one of the most uh, you know, prominent stories of the Miqat, because imagine giving birth at the Miqat. And by the way, she still made Hajj. Don't ask how, she still went out with the Prophet ﷺ and made Hajjat al Wada, and it wasn't a business class ticket or taking the train or anything like that. Incredible human being, right? So SubhanAllah, those are the Asma'as of Mecca, right? The Asma'as of Medina, uh, the mother or, or the woman who may be the mother of Mu'adh bin Jabal, who we talked about, is also Asma' bint Amr. Asma' bint Amr. And remember we said there were two women who went out on Laylatul Aqaba to give the pledge to the Prophet ﷺ in Mecca. One of them was, for sure, Nusayba radiallahu anha. And the other one was this woman, Asma bint Amr uh, radiallahu ta'ala anha. And you know what's amazing, subhanAllah, she too was fully pregnant and she gave birth on the night of Aqaba, meaning the same day that she gave the, the bay'ah to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, she gave birth to a son named Shibath, 